you are the most valuable investment you will ever make. Hi, I'm Zarina Poonawala, your leadership coach, life coach and emotional intelligence coach. You probably know me from the empowering series and this is my new show, The Life Manifesto with Zarina Poonawala. I'm going to coach you to be the best version of yourselves. So get ready to create, attain and manifest the life you've always desired and make it your reality. One of the biggest challenges in our times is living a constant hectic life and trying to achieve the perfect work-life balance as we go on. But sadly, no one is getting freer. Everyone is just getting busier, you know, having more responsibilities. Sometimes it's a new job, it's financial pressures. You could be a newlywed or coping with initial stages of parenting. You could even be struggling with your teenager, trying to communicate with them while you're still trying to give your best and make sure that your boss is happy with your performance. Sometimes it's just you making a switch, moving base, moving on to a new country, starting afresh, you know, just hitting that reset button. Sometimes it's also you just being a very, very social person. Now, you struggle trying to juggle so many balls at once, right? And you don't know what to do. How do you feel about that? Do you wish you had a better work-life balance? Do you also try hard to balance the scales but find it impossible? How often do you tell yourself, if only I had more time or if only I had less work? As you grapple to manage time, make time and balance your work and life, you must know your hopes and wishes only turn to stress and anxiety because you are literally imagining your reality rather than than being in it. Let me tell you something here. Many articles, blogs, videos, they will insist and they will convince you on how to achieve the perfect work-life balance. All of this is a myth. That's right. That's a truth bomb for you. There is no such thing as a work-life balance. Shocked? <laughs> Don't be. Think about it. Can you really weigh work and life equally? Can you really equate your life with work? I mean, life consists of everything. Your health, your work, your love, your relationships, your family, your friends, your social circle, and so on and so forth. Everything that revolves around in your life. So imagine, if you don't have life, you won't have work. You won't have anything, will you? So how can one really try and balance Life with work. Life encompasses work. It's not equal to work. Not at all, in fact. So there are a few things you need to do to break this myth and actually bring yourself to balance the scales of your life. Whatever you do, you need balance. So let's focus on bringing balance to your life. Listen to your body and read signs. Understand your own anatomy. What foods suit you? How do you react to alcohol on a work day, on a weekend? How your body tells you that you're tired? Do you smoke extensively from stress or exhaustion? Do you sleep enough hours? Is your body going through stressors and triggers? Question is, what do you do when you feel so? Most of the times, people do not listen to their body. They do not read signs. They just go on with their day and ignore these signs completely. Your body will give you signs. Pick them up and act upon them. Listen to your body and read signs. Remember, everything need not be in equal proportion in life. Your priorities will differ from each other, from other people in your life. They won't be the same. Some of you may be newlywed, some new parents, some caring for ailing parents, some living alone and some prioritizing their little grandchildren. Now this is family. Besides this, some may have a very active social life while others not so much. 
So own your life and your struggles and do it with a smile for everyone is doing their best, right? You will not be equally proportionate in all walks of life and you needn't be. From time to time, different priorities will take over and you must embrace them instead of beating yourself up about how it is working for somebody else but it's not working for you. Claim your paid leaves at work. That's right. If you have acquired your leaves, claim them. Whether it is for a vacation or rejuvenation, take that break. If you have accumulated it, you better take it. There is no pride in saying that I haven't taken a leave in five years. You know, it's a shame actually. You haven't even tried balancing other parts of your life if that's what you've done. Go for a trek. Book an Airbnb by the beach, take a week off in the mountains or go for that adventure trip or pilgrimage. But change your environment, rejuvenate and come back fresher. You deserve it and you've earned it. So go back and check for your paid leaves. Replace coffee breaks with green tea and smoke breaks with fresh air. Cut down on smoke and coffee breaks at work. As I said, these are your quick fixes, you know, a form of escapism. Surely it increases the ability to focus and increases alertness as well, but it is very temporary. On the contrary, this affects your sleep, increases your heart rate and does have various side effects on your body. If you want a good balance in your daily routine, then replace coffee with green tea, chas, water, and instead of going and taking a smoke every hour with your colleague, take a walk, breathe some fresh air, you know, just go onto the terrace, maybe even sit for a five quiet minute meditation. Just sound out all the noise and be. When you do this, you're just fresher to take on other activities through your day. Get yourself someone to hold you accountable. Accountability goes a long, long way. It's like when you ask your child if they did their homework and if they haven't, they will now rush to do it. Why? Because you asked. Buddy with your colleague, hold each other accountable for when you are about to go over the edge. So if you have limited your caffeine, then let your colleague know that they have the right to tell you if you exceed your limit. In fact, buddy accountability makes stronger bonds improves your skills and increases happiness at your workplace as well. So whether it is making sure you answer those emails or leave for home on time, hold your buddy accountable and you will have a nicer balance. In case you think you need further help, then try and seek professional help, you know, from a coach or a mentor. Try and have someone to help you with your time management, to help you understand why your day isn't turning out the way you want it to be. Be available, but not always. Don't always be available. This may sound arrogant as I say it, but be it for every meeting, every conference, every social gathering or every happy hour. Do not always be available because it means you have not set your priorities straight. And it is one of the reasons you struggle with balance. When you are always available, surely there is something you are putting on hold and leaving unfinished. Or worst case, you're neglecting your health to be there, to be where you're invited. So please don't succumb to peer pressure. Be where you can, where you want to be, but also make time for where you need to be. Value your life. That's it. Value your life. Value your life. You may feel like you do, but trust me, you do not value your life. If you did, then you would value your time. And if you valued your time, you would know how to balance this beautiful adventure called life. With able work, healthy relationships, me time and knowledge time. If you value your life, you must try these three activities. And I urge you, try it this week. One that helps you upskill. One that helps you de-stress. And one that helps fulfill you. All you need to do is train your brain to believe that your life is important 
and you need not balance your work with life. Instead, work on your habits, read signs your body gives you and give your body and mind the rest, the rejuvenation, the knowledge, the stimulation that it needs. So the next time you're trying to balance your work in life, think about balancing your life. Think about understanding your priorities and setting your boundaries. So my precious people, if you enjoy listening to the Life Manifesto and manifesting your life and achieving your dreams, please go ahead and like and rate our podcast. You can also click on the notification bell to get to know as soon as our latest episode drops. Do subscribe to the Life Manifesto. It's going to help us go a long way and also reach out to like-minded people who want to truly manifest their lives and live the best version of themselves. Meanwhile, do what you love and do it often. And if you don't like something, go right ahead and change it. The power is within you. Thank you for tuning in to The Life Manifesto with me, Zarina. If you find the show useful, then please share it with your friends, family and co-workers. You never know, you may just help someone become the best version of themselves. And if you want to align your life with some signature masterclasses, certification courses and live sessions with me, go check out and download my app, Life Manifesto with Zarina Punawala. Available on Play Store or Apple Store. And if you have any suggestions or anything that you would like to share with me, get in touch with me on my social media handles. I am at Zarina Punawala on Instagram and LinkedIn and at Zarina Speaks on Twitter. See you in the next episode.